Hello and welcome to this exciting new learning video on YouTube. I am thrilled that you've decided to join me today as we embark on a journey of discovery and education. Whether you're here to expand your knowledge, hone your skills, or simply explore new ideas, I am confident that this video will provide you with valuable insights and information. So, sit back, relax, and let's get ready to learn together. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the hard grammar of the English language. Grammar is a very important part of language and it can be a bit tricky to understand at first. But with a bit of practice and dedication, you can improve your grammar and make your writing and speaking more accurate. The most important part of grammar is sentence structure. A sentence needs to have a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. Without these three components, it is not considered a sentence. For example, the sentence I like cats has a subject, I, a verb, like, and a complete thought, cats. Subject-verb agreement is another important part of grammar. This is when the subject and verb must agree in number. For example, the sentence I am is correct because the subject, I, and the verb, am, are both singular. However, the sentence she go is incorrect because the subject, she, is singular and the verb, go, is plural. Punctuation is also an important part of grammar. Punctuation marks are symbols that are used to separate sentences and parts of sentences. There are several different types of punctuation marks such as periods, commas, question marks, and exclamation points. Punctuation marks can help you express your meaning more clearly and accurately. Finally, we have grammar rules. Grammar rules are the rules that govern how we use words and sentences. For example, there are rules that specify when to use a capital letter and when to use a lowercase letter. There are also rules that specify when to use a singular verb and when to use a plural verb. Grammar can be hard to learn, but with a little bit of practice and dedication, you can improve your grammar and make your writing and speaking more accurate. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this lesson on grammar helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Good luck with your English studies.